Hey guys. Hey, so we're back. We have lots to tell you, but just to start off with, let's just look at this. Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> Not Sky. Not Sky. We should start off with where we where you left off last time. So Addison came and left. Yes. And then Monday night, things just really hit the fan. And <laughs> so far as Hannah got like deathly ill and was yeah. sick. Like all through the night. What was it, Tuesday night? She just like had stomach pain. And then during the night, like <laughs> bad things happened. It's been going around for stomach bug. Yeah, so, and then she had like a 102 fever for like a whole day. Yeah. So that lasted about three days. She's now recovering. So yay, Hannah. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Next, I'm going to let you take over. Yesterday, I was leaving one of my classes to go to my next class, which was jogging. I was walking down the stairs because I was in the same building. I was in the upstairs. I was going to the first floor. I was walking down the stairs, and the stairs are carpeted. And I was, I was texting, so <laughs> it's like my fault. But my heel of my like tennis shoe caught the carpet, I think, and I lost my balance, and I fell down a flight of stairs. And this is where I'm at now. I cracked some bone, and then I tore two ligaments. And now my ankle's messed up for four weeks. So I will not be running. It was a terrible experience. I got carried out by two professors to go into the campus security's car as my jogging class was stretching and they were all watching me. Moving on, so that's two people down, two to go. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, our dear friend Grace got diagnosed with bronchitis. <laughs> so there's three down. I'm the only one left standing. Let's hope nothing happens to you. I know. I don't want to jinx it. I'm like scared to get on the elevator or like, no, I'm scared to do anything. And the stairs now. I don't know how I'm going <laughs> to get from flight to flight. <laughs> Maybe it's just user error. I really wish I could have been in a wheelchair. I guess they give me crutches. She wheeled me out. I look like a boy. I can't show the screen. Anyways, using crutches. I'm so bad at using crutches. It's a lot harder than you might think. It's awful. Yeah, so that's what has happened this week. Partly because part of the reason that we didn't have a video for Wednesday. <laughs> Today we're going to give you guys tips on how to bounce back from a week like this Like one. this. So I think that when you have a really bad week, it's so easy to eat unhealthy and just like have a bunch of candy because you're like oh I feel bad for myself or we've all been there where like you're upset over something and then you binge eat some candy and then you feel bad because of your week and now you also feel bad because your stomach hurts and then you're kind of like why did I just do that to myself so I think trying to eat as healthy as possible yeah. to keep like a clear mind it'll help avoid the spiral down yeah for sure you won't have like energy crashes to make things worse mm -hmm. so like you're having oatmeal right now with flax mm -hmm. yeah so that's my tip and drink a lot of water oh i'm so bad at that because your gut controls your mind gut health is important people it's so important <laughs> tip number two try and stay in your regular routine as much as possible yeah because I don't know, like our bodies are so dependent on routines, so the minute we get out of it and start saying like, what was me, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be really hard to get back in. Yeah, I agree. So like, except for in situations like this, whereas Ellie would normally work out probably, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> but she would normally work out, She's she can't. I have to find a different <laughs> way. Yes, too. yes. The third tip is doing something fun. Because if mm -hmm. you've had a tough week, you need to do something that like fulfills you. So then What's you your favorite thing to do? Like whenever I have like a bad day or something, I always like play guitar for a while. It's like really calming for me and yeah. What would you what would you do? I like to shop. Okay. Retail therapy is a <laughs> serious thing. It's my go to. <laughs> yeah. 
surround yourself, I feel like, with good with positive positive people. people. We don't need negative Nancy's, even though I can be the a negative Nancy. You're not a negative Nancy. Why did you make that face then? You're not a negative, you're just that well. <laughs> oh well. So you need positive people who are going to support you and um, uplift you. Next tip. <laughs> I think having like a me day. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to decompress, get your nails done. So I painted my nails after my <laughs> horrifying day. <laughs> so I have to can't afford. <laughs> Did it to myself. <laughs> DIY. Um, have a friend do it for you. Yeah, do like a face mask. Pamper. Doing a having a bath. If you like that. Actually, I had the worst babysitting experience ever the other day. Um, <laughs> but we won't get <laughs> into that. that was your thing. This week. I did get, like, projectile vomited on. It was pretty bad. <laughs> the little kids nowadays watch Fancy Nancy. I learned a very important life lesson from her. She taught me. Help me. Oh, it's good stuff. She taught me how to handle disappointment with grace. This is like a good life lesson. It is. It's a little bit over a two year old's head. But yeah. a 19 year old, <laughs> on the other hand, <laughs> I got it. it. So we will keep you guys posted on Ellie's My recovery. recovery process. Whether I live to see another day, <laughs> you will. Um, Grace's recovery. Yeah, an update on Hannah her. is on. The uphill slope, the down. She's like on the other swing of the pendulum. What's the? She's on the other side of the fence where the grass is greener. Thanks for watching. Sorry, this video is kind of all over the place, but it's kind of a good representation of <laughs> what's been happening <laughs> to us. Yeah. Um. So yeah. See you next time. From Tyler and Ellie to you. Out. Have a good week.